Today's video is sponsored by myself. Normally you had to right click to your clip and select the retime curves. Then click to this button and select to add a speed point. You add a couple of points and then drag the top handles to adjust the speed. And you could adjust the keyframe position by dragging the bottom point. After 20 years the developers decided that this was not efficient and they made the keyframes menu available in the top left tiny space to make it even more complicated to be sure that you will never use it. Finally a person with brain said, guys, why don't we put the keyframes in the timeline so it makes more sense to work with it. If you click to the keyframe button in the timeline, you will see the keyframes under your clip as it's supposed to be. If you can't see anything, you need to check the curve button for the keyframes that you want to see. You can activate the retime speed curves, select the points and smooth out the speed change. Or you can check the retime frame curves, and here is where the magic happens. If you take a keyframe and drag it down, it will reverse your clip. You can move the position of the keyframe to adjust the speed. You can select the add keyframe button, add a keyframe, and then switch to the pointer mode to adjust the position of it. Add some points, and play around with the position of the keyframes. Combine this with the retime controls to adjust the speed of each part. This is still not the best and easiest way but for sure is way better than it was before. If you are looking for some creative effects and transitions, shut up and give me all your money.